Hey friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is going to be my 29th week of pregnancy update. If you're new around here, my name is Sandy Kay and I have a 16, well, 17 month old son today actually. And so this is for my second pregnancy. So let's start with talking about baby's development for this week. According to the Baby Center app, the baby is 15 and a half inches and three pounds, weighing close to the size of a butternut squash. And the baby this week, as far as development, the head is starting to get bigger as it makes room for the brain. Your baby's taste buds can now transmit signals to the brain and your baby's bones are continuing to harden. Here's what baby's looking like this week. Cute little boy or girl in there. Now let's go ahead and talk about my symptoms with my first pregnancy. I have them journaled here and I was using the what to expect app and on that it says baby's the size of a zucchini weighing three pounds and 16 inches long and I said baby boy just keeps growing and that man I can really feel it and I can relate with that statement right now as well. For my symptoms I said that my hips started hurting as I'm sleeping on my side at night. I said it's harder to fall asleep, especially if it's later at night. And more tired during the day, so I've been taking naps when I can. Feeling baby boy move more when I'm like leaning up on the table or something, I would feel my son Trenner kick back. And I said that he was also especially active and pretty high up in my ribs and he would make me laugh because he would tickle tickle me by kicking me up in my ribs. So not at the painful point yet, but just would make me laugh. And I said that I was still able to do my workouts, but still just lowering the intensity and taking it a little bit easier. And then I'd be good to go. And it's pretty hot outside. It was pretty hot outside during this pregnancy. Right now it's snowing outside, <laughs> so it's not hot right now. But uh, at this time, it was pretty hot, and so I could only be outside for 30 minutes at a time. My cravings were maple bars and salt and vinegar chips, and I started rubbing vitamin E oil on my lady bits to help everything get lubricated and ready for birth. So that's a good reminder to probably start doing that now in this pregnancy. Let's go ahead and get into the questions for this pregnancy. So how far along am I? I am 30 weeks as of today. And maternity clothes, yes, definitely in those. Stretch marks, no stretch marks yet. And how have I been sleeping? I've been sleeping pretty darn good. <laughs> I've been wanting to go to bed early. I was ready for bed by like 5 p.m. last night. And so I just went up and took a bath with my son, took my time, and then by around 6, PM, I started getting him ready for bed, had him in bed by 6.30, and then I was in bed by 8. So that is kind of how life has been going lately and taking naps whenever I can. And it's been harder to wake up in the morning as well. Best moment this week, I would say just celebrating my birthday with my family. It's always so nice to be with them. And then my husband was great about being extra helpful on my birthday week, just helping clean up the house and cooking dinner and that really helped me out a lot and then missing anything no not at this time i'm not movement yes i've been feeling baby move for sure food cravings i've been craving i'd say like more yogurt i like adding in peanut butter and like a crispy apple cut up and salads with like balsamic vinegar and chicken that has hit the spot lately um, but besides that, nothing very much for food cravings. Anything making me queasy or sick? Thankfully, no. Gender guess? I'm still going with a girl, but we'll see. Labor signs? No labor signs yet. So for my symptoms, I have been more irritable and less patient with my son and husband, which is why going to bed early is sometimes just better for everybody. I've been needing more help with the house tasks as just simple things have seemed harder for me lately. I've been peeing more now, especially during the night, 
and I feel like I cannot take a good solid breath anymore because my lungs are starting to feel squished and so that makes it hard to get a good breath especially when I'm going upstairs to put my son to bed I'm like <sighs> like breathing so heavy and my heart rate just goes way up. I had bloody gums while brushing and then this week I again haven't been able to eat as much. I've been full a lot faster but also I haven't been as hungry this week. More of a bummer symptom has been having headaches more often especially in the morning the past two days so I've been drinking lots of water. In fact I've been drinking my gallon by like noon some days but yeah, even with drinking water and having food and making sure I'm eating enough protein and all that stuff, I was having headaches in the morning, which it was the two days that I had like a pretty big breakfast, so I was wondering if it was just eating too much, but I'm not sure. And then for my last symptom, I've been having like a lot of feeling super hot and then feeling cold, but especially at night, I've been waking up with like hot sweats. Like I remember waking up and fanning myself last night, but it was like in my sleep. But I do remember taking out the sheets and being really hot. And then same thing in the car, just feeling hot and stuffy and needing to roll down the window now. Emotionally, how am I doing? I've been doing pretty good. Feeling pretty good, but just trying to be a little bit kinder to myself and to others. I'm still adjusting to my new normal of lower energy and just trying to continue to stay happy and grateful as it's not every not every day you get to be pregnant so just trying to soak up all I can of this pregnancy and belly button in or out it is still in but still firm at the top wedding rings on or off they are still on happy or moody most of the time I would probably say moody for this week but I'm going to try and be better <laughs> and uh, try to like maintain my emotions a little better and be happier in general looking forward to anything i'm looking forward to easter seeing my son collect eggs and do the easter egg hunt and all the easter stuff now that he's finally old enough to kind of understand that stuff all right let's finish off with the bump update here is my bump at 30 weeks and with my yoga pants it's my bare bump Thank you so much for joining me for another pregnancy update. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love to hear from you down in the comments. <laughs> Out of breath again. Okay, I'll catch you guys next week. See you later. Bye.